All right. Next one. Example number two. Evaluate the following. Part A. The limit as x approaches 0 of x plus 3 over x plus 7. What is the value going to be here? Well, hopefully, all of you are thinking, well, as x approaches 0 has nothing to do with our denominator, so we can just plug it in. Part B. Limit of as, as x approaches 2 of x cubed minus 2x squared plus 5. Now, note that there is brackets around these values. So just one second. Let me put those brackets in for you. And we get the value of there. Much better. So we're taking limit as x approaches 2 of that whole entire function. All right, here we go. The first one, like I said, we're going to sub in 0 for x in both the numerator and the denominator because in this case, when I plug in 0 into the denominator, I do not get a 0 answer in the denominator. So the answer to this question is 3 over 7. Part B. We're going to say the limit as x approaches 2 of this entire function. So we're going to replace 2 into every single piece. That will give us 5. Now, that would not be true if we didn't have these brackets. If we didn't have these brackets here, we would be asking you to find the limit as x approaches 2 of just x cubed, not the rest of that. Limit as x approaches 3 of x squared minus 9 over x minus 3. In this case, this means that the denominator will be 0. So we need to look at this question, see if we can simplify it. Turns out, when we simplify it, you get x minus 3 times x plus 3 in the numerator, x minus 3 in the denominator, and the 2x minus 3s, lo and behold, cancel, so that you have the limit as x approaches 3 of x plus 3. x plus 3 being in, that's right folks, brackets. And we take the limit as x approaches 3 of x plus 3, and you get 6. Next one. Find the limit as x approaches 2 of 1 over x minus 1 over 2 over x minus 2. All right. So what do we do here? Well, we know that this plugged in here will give us 0. We've got a fraction over a fraction. What I would work with is one fraction at a time. Limit as x approaches 2 of 2 minus x over 2x. That would be your numerator with a common denominator. And the denominator turns out to be 1 over x minus 2. And what you see here is that these are the negatives of each other so that they can be canceled because they're exactly the same values but negatives of each other. That means that this and this cancel to become negative 1. Okay, so again, the 2 minus x and the x minus 2 cancel so that the result will be negative 1. The limit as x approaches 2 of negative 1 over 2x now our threat of the denominator being 0 has been eliminated, you can now find the value. The value is going to be negative 1 over 4. So let's see that again. The result will be here would be negative 1 over 4. Because again, this 2 minus x and x minus 2 are negatives of each other. And that will cancel to give us negative 1, resulting in an answer of positive 1. Sorry, negative 1 over 4. All right, E, the limit as x approaches 2 of 2x squared minus x minus 6 over x squared minus 4. What you need to do here is factor. Factor the numerator, common factor the denominator, and your result will be 
Now that x minus 2's will cancel, so the limit as x approaches 2 of 2x plus 3 over x plus 2. So those x minus 2's will actually cancel each other out. We plug in 2 now into the equation. So we're plugging in 2 into the equation. And what do we get? So 2 will go in here. 2 will also go in here. And you end up with 7 over 4. F, limit as x approaches 1 of x cubed minus x squared plus 2x minus 2 over x minus 1. What do we do in this situation? Well, folks, what we need to do is something called synthetic division, which you learned in the last unit. Limit as x approaches 1 of the, numer of the numerator over the denominator, we're going to use synthetic division. Synthetic division, we need to try and factor to see if this is a factor of this. And it is. So we can plug it in to find our answer. 1, negative 1, 2, and negative 2 are your coefficients of a cubic trinomial all over, the, uh, so we need to find the remainder. So 1 times 1 is 1. Sorry, drop the 1. You do 1 times 1 is 1. That goes here. Add those together, it gives you 0. 1 times 0 is 0. 2 plus 0 is 2. 1 times 2, so 1 times 2 is 2. Put it here, and you end up with a value 0. That 0 tells us it is a factor, it does work, and we'll be able to get 2 factors from this. So, we will get x squared plus 2. As a result, you can now plug in the value of 1. We plug in the value of 1. Once those x minus 1's, remember, cancel each other away, cancel each other away, you're left with limit as x approaches 1 of x squared plus 2. Again, this could or could not be in brackets. I would say for the safety's sake, I would just put brackets. The answer to that when we plug in 1 for x is 3. All right. That's all, folks. That's everything for this video. Take care. Have a good night.